Hello, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Node, Cross, Watchers. Hello, hello. This is going to be a reading for mid-month for you. I'm canceling out negative energies and calling in divine, beautiful white light. Golden orb energy to bring you your reading in pure form without, hopefully it will not be, it will not be diluted with negative energy. We know that it's very common. As above, so below, everything unholy has to go. I come to read to you and see what's coming out. Okay? All right, my loves. Give me a quick second and get myself situated. Hopefully I don't move the camera. All right. Calling on Archangel Michael to come in to help me to read this in the sense that you will protect this reading from negative energy. And I can access higher realms by the white light, by the ancestors, by the guides, by the Holy Spirit. Clearing away all negative energy and clearing, bringing in only divine, beautiful healing for my Sagittarius. Using my Attract Love Naturally, I love this. This is available on my shop or on my website. Amazing. It's amazing, amazing, amazing. We also have clear negative energy. That's something else I sell. Very, very sagey. Very sagey dragon's blood. A lot of good stuff. And of course, the best one of all. Sacred Holy Mist. I use this to anoint myself so that I can actually read for you. I gave some of this to my doctor's assistant today and she freaked out. She thought it was fabulous. And she's right. It is fabulous. It's based on temple scents. Sagittarius, I hope that you take advantage of that and go at least try it. Okay, I love you. Let's see what's going on for my Sagittarians. I'm going to pull you a secret language of life first. Then I will lay down three cards. And then I will lay down other cards to double check and see what's going on. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. Calling on the Galactics, calling on the Higher Divine to help me to tap into this message so I can tap into the consciousness and the super consciousness of where Sagittarius is at this time. Sensitivity. So you're very sensitive at this time. You're picking up messages. Your heart, this represents your heart as well. And the center of the universe. Let's see what it says in the book for you. Some of the uh, readings I've done, I did one for Leo. I waited to read theirs till later because the storyline was so weird. You're becoming more sensitive to the energy and the vibrations that precede all physical creation. We can all sense these energies, but our rational minds often override our feelings. <clears throat> sense beyond what you see with your eyes and hear in your mind. Trust your heart. Trust your heart will bring together the most up-to-date information through your senses. When we're open to sensing and feeling love, it also means we're open to sensing and feeling fear. This clarifies the importance of actively choosing where you place your gaze and focus your energy. Don't let old stories determine what you will think and feel. There's no hiding behind words. Feeling sorry for another or a situation doesn't help them or you. It takes you to a place where you <clears throat> can't hear any solutions and feeds back what they already know. You came here to create reality, not to accept it. You attract what you are, not what you think or what you say, but what you feel. Celebrate your sensitivity. Without it, you may not realize you have a choice. What do you want to bring into your life? Wow. Okay. Wow. That's interesting. All right. Spirit. Holy Spirit. Let's see. Sagittarius, someone rising Venus, my fires. Yes. What is their energy at this time and what shows up for them? Show me spirit, Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus. Sagittarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus. I just got a very big bump in my heart. It was like an excitement. Sagittarius. Okay. Let's do this for you. On the bottom of the deck, yes, we have the sensitive one. There you go. 
So you are sitting in the energy of the Knight of Wands, the Hierophant, and the Knight of Cups. Wow. Okay. And I want to talk to you about this too. You're using your feelings to attract. One is a new start, okay? One is new. New energy, new opportunity. Five is at the crossroads. But if you bring them together, you have six. Six is actually the number of reciprocity, of divine uh, balance, uh, peace of mind, whatever it is you're putting your energy into. Love, memories, peace of mind, money, any of the objectivities of six. Really, six is a number of love. We have someone here who's not fully committed. They're checking in on what it is they believe. What are my beliefs? What do I know? What do I know about faith? What do I know about love? What do I know about this sensitivity that I'm picking up on? I really do. Look at two horses here. I really do have love to offer someone. I'm having a hard time because I'm having trouble trusting at this time. I'm very sensitive to picking things up. And I, I have love, but I'm having trouble trusting. Your typical nature is to run in and run out. Your faith is calling you to make an offer to somebody. Possibly. Let's see what um, what shows up with the Wisdom of the Oracle by Colette Baron reed Let's see. Give me the energies that support this reading. For Sagittarius, wow, they're flying. Imagination. Imagination. You're imagining what it is that you want. You could be using spiritual skills as well. Um, the art of imagination is powerful. What are you imagining? A loyal heart? Either yours or someone else's? Someone you're wanting to be with on that crossroads. You're thinking real hard about it. You want to go through a regeneration of a relationship. You're very sensitive to what it feels like to be around this person. You're imagining it. You want to co-create with this person. You want to actually make something happen. So you could be dealing with a water sign or a Taurus. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, or a Taurus. Give me the energies around this, please. Spirit for Sagittarius. What are they experiencing? Show us, Spirit. We trust you. Thank you. We trust you. Heartbreak. Someone is feeling heartbreak. Or they have had it. And someone is wanting to show appreciation. Why do I feel like it's appreciation for healing a heartbreak? Imagining. Someone's imagining. What are they imagining? Giving someone an offer. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, making an offer to someone. Holding a coin. Imagining being with you. A loyal heart. Someone loves you. Someone loves you. They want to... Look. Look. What? Both of these are 15, Sag. Both of these are 15. They want to show appreciation to you. They want to regenerate the relationship. They want you to regenerate your energy so that you're more like this and less like that. More committed, more loyal. And this is a thinking woman here. So this is someone who's brilliant, a high volume, high value individual. And they're expecting you to show them some appreciation, male or female. I don't think it matters, right? Love is love. Holy Spirit, show me the romance angels. That are, what are the romance messages to go along with this reading? And we'll look into why you have that broken heart here. Who, who's the broken heart? First message we have is codependency. So someone's waiting for someone to come back and they want them to change because they're married to them possibly. Maybe you're married to somebody, Sagittarius married to a water sign and there is marriage between you and someone's very sensitive right now. They're really thinking. She's thinking. She There's retreat. Love yourself. Past life relationship. Wow. There's reflection going on. Somebody giving each other space at the moment. Trusting and having faith that all will work out for the best. I love that. So who's coming forward? 
First, let's find out about this broken heart. Six of Cups, someone from your past, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Somebody's fondly remembering. There were lovers here. It was a lover. Somebody's missing a lover from their past. They retreated and pulled back to love themselves first, going through reflections, needing regeneration. Someone needs to come in and speak the truth. Someone may come in and speak the truth from your past about this relationship with you and about the possibility of another lover being involved, um, interfering with your energy. Jeez whiz. Reflection on what spirit? Healing and hope and ha happiness. The guides are leading someone. The guides are leading someone. Spirit guides, ancestors, um, God, angels are leading someone to balance. This could be Aquarius right here that comes in and, and verbally cuts something off or does something very quick and rash. And um, here you sit in the King of Wands trying to figure out what just I'll come please with the numerology card for this reading. I am doing readings, but you have to go to my Etsy shop or my website to order them. You are good enough. Don't you dare think less of yourself because someone chose another lover. Oh, hell no. Hell no. What's that song that goes, um, oh, I don't know. Let them go. Go out. Get, get yourself loving on yourself. Past life or not, you can figure this out. You're very brilliant. Okay. Your dreams need a practical plan and a new romantic cycle is beginning. Does that mean that someone new is coming in? Or is there actually going to be regeneration and this relationship? Only you will have to, um, only way we can know that is if we do a private reading. But at this point, I'm just leaving it right here. Thank you for purchasing my sprays. They're amazing. Especially attract love if you're looking for love or even self-love. Uh, that's what it's for, is nurture yourself. Ooh-wee. I don't know who you are. I'm sorry you're going through this, but I think you're, like, super powered right now. You know? Going through reflection on this situation and where does it go now? You're super sensitive on your emotions. Mm-hmm. Tell me about that broken heart again. Somebody cut you off. That's right. Somebody, somebody ended something. Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, they just ended something or somebody like that and they got in that energy and said, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not doing that anymore. Now that could be you or someone else. Could be someone you were married to. Wow. And they blocked you or you blocked them and there's no communication because someone retreated to heal themselves from a broken heart. See, there's that broken heart again. Came out in reverse though. Which tells me that there's progress being made. Yep, there's progress being made on this. It came out in reverse. Yeah, two of cups in reverse. So someone is definitely not with the one they need to be with because someone made a mistake. And the devil's on his business, keeping people apart, separating marriages, bringing in vixens and, and Jezebel spirits, um, and causing problems in relationships. Temptation is great. Um, I mean, you know what I mean? Um, forgiveness is the most potent thing you could possibly have. Self-love and forgiveness. This is what I have for you. I hope that it served you well. I love you very much. We realize this is a soulmate in separation. Okay? If you'd like your own reading to double check this soulmate in separation and where you guys stand, just check with me. I love you. In the meantime, be sure to hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, by all means, please do hit the all bell. And if you join my channel as a member, you get perks. I call you out when I'm on my lives. I'll say thank you, thank you when you show up. Um, and then those on the $3.99 monthly level, you get a free answer each time I go live. If I see that you have that member icon, I will bless you with an answer. I thank you so much for being here. Namaste, my wonderful Sagittarians.